Hello and welcome to all the men and women of the West. I'm Joe. Today I'm going to be doing a bit of an addendum on the culture analysis that we did with the Hiborian Age essay podcast. A while back, those of you who are familiar with our channel, Entry into the Conan Mythos, know that we analyzed the essay that Howard had written for himself. Now this essay is excellently written. We did hours of content analyzing and dissecting it. I came across a comment on Grimdark's channel where someone had proposed that that to him you're supposed to come out to run with the Turks, Ophir with Rome, and Koth with Greece. And to be quite honest, the thought had not really occurred to me that that's how some might read the essay exactly. Now, Tehran being Turkish kind of did occur to me, and I believe I did make a comment that it should be either Turkish or Asiatic, which, okay. As to Ophir being like Rome, there again, I, I had not really thought about it, but it does make some sense, although the person had also made the connotation between Ophir being like either Italy or Rome and was unsure of which way to go and so asked Grimdark for his impression of what Ophir should be like and I actually kind of prefer the medieval Italy comparison the Rome comparison I think would be more apt in regards to Aquilonia then again medieval France is also something I'd, I'd make the connotation with Aquilonia with Aquilonia basically having some of the legions of Rome but the knights as mentioned in the stories of a kind of Frankish Germanic society so the, you have a melding of Rome and France in Aquilonia. With regards to Koth, I honestly kind of thought it was more of a African kingdom, but it could very well be that it's supposed to be Greece, and it would make some sense. So there, I'm going to be a little nervous to compare it to any society because I had thought it's more fantasy and it's a more hard to pin down society and that Howard had simply made his own. So if I had to make a comparison, it's either Greece or something like Ptolemaic Egypt, which was a mixture of Greek and Egyptian society. On the other hand, I do like the Greek comparison. So read into that what you may. Now, the Greeks ethnically, like the Italians, were markedly different from Northern Europeans 2,000 years ago. They were more olive-skinned, you know, Latins. But as to Ophir, the person had asked, does this society end up wearing the togas or the kind of clothes of medieval Italy, in particular the Renaissance period. Grimnark suggested that maybe in the north, Italian, south, maybe togas and whatnot, rather like Rome. I like this division, but I kind of like the idea that the entire country shares its culture properly between its residents and whatnot. So I might say that I kind of lean towards the medieval Italy idea. Although, but that's also because of my attachment to Aquilonia. So there is that. I kind of want Aquilonia to be the best. And there's nothing better than Rome in medieval France. As to Ophir, I just love the architecture and whatnot of Renaissance Italy. There's also that affection on my part, and I, I really like the name Ophir. But that's it. Tell me what you all think. I hope you all have a great day. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button as though you were Conan smiting one of his enemies.